Good day and welcome to this presentation, everyone. I am Shobhan Nair, son of Swaya Prakash, along with Emmanuel Evanthong and Mohammed Ashraf, are going to present our group assignment for subject PFM 3023 Financial Management. For this assignment, we chose two companies from retailing industry, which are Aeon Co. Brahat and Mr. DIY Group Brahat. First, we are going to look up about Aeon Co. Brahat. Aeon Malaysia is a subsidiary of the Japanese multinational retailer Aeon Group. It maintains a network of hypermarkets, supermarkets, and department stores, offering an extensive selection of goods. It is 51.7% owned by Aeon Co. Limited, an integrated holding corporation based in Japan. Aeon was founded in Malaysia in 1984 to modernize the country's retail industry. Next, we are going to see about Mr. DIY Group Berhad. Mr. DIY is the largest home improvement retailer in the region with over 900 stores in Malaysia and Brunei. It offers an average 20,000 products at always low prices in each store with 10 categories. How? Liquid is Aeon Co. and Berhad and Mr. DIY Group Berhad. In 2020, current ratio Aeon Co. and Berhad has only $0.35. In current asset for every $1 current liabilities. Aeon Co. and Berhad liquidly is lower than Mr. DIY Group Berhad, which has a current ratio $5.40. In 2021, Aeon Co. and Berhad has only $0.51 in current asset for every $1 current liabilities. Aeon Co. and Berhad liquidly is lower than Mr. DIY Group Berhad, which has a current ratio $2.01. In 2020, acid test Aeon Co. and Berhad has $0.07 cent in quit asset for every $1 in current debt. Aeon Co. and Berhad is slightly less liquid than Mr. DIY Group Berhad, which has $0.31 cent for every $1 in current debts. In 2021, Aeon Co. Hat has 16 cent in quit asset for every $1 in current debts. Aeon Co. Hat is slightly less liquid than Mr. DIY Group Berhad, which has 48 cent for every $1 in current debts. Next. In 2020, dust managers are generating 0, 0.0 cent of operating profit for every $1 of asset, which is quite a bit less than Mr. DIY Group Berhad, 0.24%. Aeon Co. and Berhad manager are better than Mr. DIY Group Berhad in managed managing the cost of goods sold and operating expense as a, as the operate, operating profit margin for Mr. DIY Group Berhad is only 1.55%. Aeon Co. and Berhad is generating one cent in sale for every one dollar invest in asset, which is much lower than Mr. DIY Group Berhad 50 times. Aeon Co. and Berhad generate $2.35 in sell for every $1 invest in fit asset, which is lower than Mr. DIY Group Berhad 21.49 times. In 2021, those manager are generating 0.04 cent for of operating profit for every $1 of asset, which is quite a bit less than Mr. DIY Group, Berhad, 0.18%. Mr. DIY Group, Berhad manager are better than Mr. Aeon Co. and Berhad is managing the cost of the goods sold and operating expense. As the operating profit margin for Aeon Co. and Berhad is only 7%. Aeon Co. and Berhad is generating 60, 62 cents in sales for every $1 invest in asset, which is much lower than 
we study our group were hot 1 127 time and go amber hot generating 0 pen 15 cent dollars in sell for every one dollar invest in fit asset which is lower than mr diy group berhad 51 times how is ayanko and berhad and mr diy group berhad financing its asset in 2020 ayanko and berhad finance 73 percent of its asset by debt and 27% by equity compared to Mr. DIY Group Berhad financing 61% of it asset by debts. Ayanko and Berhad operating income is three times the annual interest expense and highest than Mr. DIY Group Berhad 7.66 times due to its relatively highest operating profits. In 2021, ANCO and financed 70% of its asset by debt and 30% by equity compared to Mr. DIY Group Berhad financing 57% of its asset by debts. ANCO and Berhad operating income in two times the annual interest spent and highest than Mr. DIY Group Berhad 7.71 times do the relative highest operating profits are the manager generating a good return of equity in 2020 owner of and Berhad are receiving a lowest return 0.06 percent compared to mr diy group Berhad 0.52 percent and in 2021 Owner of Ayanko and Berhad are receiving a lowest return 0.15% compared to Mr. DIY Group Berhad 0.51%. There was an increase for Ayanko and Berhad while a decrease of 1% for Mr. DIY Group Berhad. Next, we are going to present Ion Comp Hat and Mr. DIY Groups per hat, success factors and factors. First, let's see about Eon Company per hat and Mr. DIY Groups per hat, success factors. Eon Company has six factors that contribute to its success, which are always evolving, always ahead, lending support to community, delivering value to their shareholders, embedding sustainability in their practices, recognizing their human capital, ensuring good corporate governance, and Eon has evolved with the times and have seen consistent sales growth on their mind Eon to go on a path. They have launched Eon Sayat to provide support to stakeholders, deliver value to shareholders, and embed sustainability in the practices. Eon is committed to enhancing sustainability practices and integrating the UN's sustainability development goals into their business strategy. They have implemented a minimum wage increase and nurture their human capital through continuous education programs. They are also incorporating environmental, social, and governance risks into their long-term strategy. Mr. DIY has four success factors that help managing its sustainability in the marketplace, which are driving operational efficiencies, a focus on environmental, social, and governance, which is ESG, product selection and merchandising mix, and strong talent pool. The group success has been driven by operational efficiencies, ESG performance, and product selection and merchandising mix. They have achieved admittance into the FDSD 4 index and diversified their energy sources. Mr. DIY's white labels product offer customer a higher price to quality value position, leading to sales growth. Imported product remain important aspect of its merchandising strategy. Mr. DIY is one of the largest employers in Malaysia, offering steady employment, comprehensive benefits, good working condition, and excellent career prospect, career prospect. Then we look at the risk factors of both companies. First, let's see the most significant internal risk for Aeon 
company prasad financial performance the first risk is transformation risk people risk digit digitalization risk liquidity risk cyber security risk customer retail product proportion risk customer retail experience health safety and security risk and last is business sustainability risk the company is facing transformation people and digitalization risk to address this the company has implemented a strategic roadmap pilot programs and project management governance practices additionally an in-house specialist team has been established to identify specialist talent and nurture digital retail initiatives Eon has established dedicated teams to coordinate and collaborate with external partners, integrate front-end application with back-end system, mitigate liquidity risk, and address cybersecurity risk. These measures aim to mitigate the impact of external risk, maintain operational stability, and protect financial well-being. The company is addressing cybersecurity, customer retail product proposition risk, data analytics, ethical and responsible supply chain management, changing the demographic, competition from physical and digital retailers, and supplier insolvency. To remain competitive, the company must innovate, improve customer experience, and differentiate offerings in the market. The company needs to execute its merchandising strategy, improving ethical and responsible supply chain management. Optimize supply chain operation, adapt to changing demographic, complete effectively, and mitigate supply and change disruption through strategic merchandising and sourcing approaches. The company faces various risks related to internal and external threats, as well as the COVID-19 crisis and climate change induced weather patterns. To address this risk, the company has implemented measures such as dedicated teams, technological enhancements, localized security approaches and robust business continuity plan the company is addressing the risks associated with shifting customer preferences climate change competition business disruption and evolving customer expectation through initiatives such as the eon virtual mall upgrading malls for e-fulfillment digitalization efforts sustainable practices and strategic leasing Next, we look at Mr. DIY Group's Berhad risk factors. The board of directors of Mr. DIY Group, Berhad, is pleased to provide a statement on risk management and internal control state, which has outlined the nature and scope of risk management and internal control of the group for the financial year ended 31 December, 20, 31st December 2021. The statement is provided pursuant to paragraph 15.26b of the main market listing requirements of Bursa Securities. The group maintains a database of risk through the risk categories such as strategic risk, operational risk, financial risk, and compliance risk. The group is exposed to various strategic and operational risks relating to its business of managing stores nationwide. These risks are managed with strict compliance to the applicable internal standard operating, operating procedures SOPs, the group is also exposed to financial risks relating to foreign currency exchange. Compliance risk affects the department or company's processes and effort ensuring all applicable regula regulatory requirements are complied with. We used Proforma financial statement to predict the financial projection for the upcoming year of 2022 for both companies which are Aonco Malaysia Brahat and Mr. DIY Group Brahat. Proforma financial statements are a valuable tool for analyzing the effects of a company's forecast and planned activities on its financial performance and financing requirements. To estimate the Aonco, Malaysia Brahat, and Mr. DIY Group Brahat's discretionary financing needs, DFN, the percent of sales method of financing forecasting is used. The discretionary financing needs for Aonco Brahat in year of 2022 is 1 billion. 113,237,645 ringgit and total financing needed for the company in the upcoming year is 7,364,556,410 ringgit. The DFN for Mr. DIY Group Bahad in the year of 2022 is 
5 billion, 117 million, 77,700 ringgit, and total financing needed for the company in the upcoming year is 7 billion, 926 million, 159,437 ringgit. Next, we are going to give recommendation for both Ayonko Malaysia Brahat and Mr. DIY Group Brahat on how to increase their financial ability in the upcoming year of 2022. First, they need to reduce their costs. Spending less is one of the best methods to improve your financial situation. Examine every aspect of your business to determine whether there are affordable alternatives for supplies, equipment, and services. Second, collect overdue payments. Unpaid invoices can significantly damage a business cash flow and overall financial health. If this is an ongoing issue, it may be necessary to employ a debt collection agency. Third, sell assets that are unused or unwanted. Do you have unused products that are taking up unnecessary space? Selling them provides you with immediate funds. You save money on the expense if you are paying for storage. Then, consolidate debt. When looking for methods to improve your business financial situation, it is essential to examine your current business debt. If you have a substantial amount of debt, it may be beneficial to consolidate it. It is frequently easier and less expensive to consolidate your debt into a single payment. Before commenting into a new arrangement, conduct research and evaluate various options. The last one is reduce your price. When practicable, lowering your price is always a good way to increase sales and strengthen your company's financial position. That's all from us from today. Thank you very much.